going on guys still here and so Gaijin just added a new test for us a new visual detection system for missiles uh, I did just play a game I recorded it it's you can kinda see the the uh, the system in action there a few times but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and read it to you so what Gaijin says is in high-ranked aircraft oh by actually before I start don't mind the dryer in the background just try to ignore that so anyway, so they said in high-ranked aircraft battles, the main weapon type is now uh, is now guided air-to-air -air missiles with infrared homing heads. Some of this is kind of either weirdly worded or I'm just reading it wrong, like an idiot. But that was kind of weird because the main weapon type. I guess you could say that it is the main main weapon. The missile itself emits nothing at launch, and the only means of detecting the fact that it has been launched in reality, and they mean in real life too, is visual detection, i.e., the observation of the missile from a pilot's eyes. Previously, we implemented the simulation of missile launch detection through a text warning regarding the fact that it had been launched, but this implementation wasn't very satisfactory to players and also us. We have received numerous requests to disable this system in Aircraft RB, similar to Aircraft SP, in order to increase the realism and importance of the player's actions by evading attacks. In addition, it would increase the effectiveness of early air-to-air -air missiles with low maneuverability, making it easier to dodge them after the appearance of a text warning. There are uh, also, there is a uh, some cons inconsistency in the current system. For example, an aircraft would receive a warning about the launch of a guided air-to-air -air missile, but didn't receive a warning of a launch from an anti-aircraft missile system, such as the the Sidem, let's say the Sidem or the Type 90, Type 91, Type 93, the the Stinger truck, uh, not equipped with radar warning system, which isn't capable of detecting radar operation. This last sentence is kind of weirdly worded. Um, I would assume RWR is supposed to work for the SAMs in a way, but it, it, I don't really know. Can't. It's Again, it's really worded. Uh, down here it says the detection of guided missiles. This is why we've decided to improve the game's missile warning mechanics, making it more realistic, preserving the interest in gameplay. Messages on the screen about the detection of the launched missile, uh, missile will be disabled. In aircraft A, B, and R, B, so marker enabled game modes, a special diamond marker will be added on all enemy guided missiles within the pilot's detection range. They are not on top of the missile, they are actually on, like, they encircle the missile, so it gives you an idea. The range of the marker's appearance will depend on the skill of the crew, namely an awareness skill, which uh, will also be responsible for the new parameter, range of missile detection. So your awareness on your air crews has to be, has to be up in order to actually be able to detect these really easily. Markers will appear when the missile engine is turned on and disable after a short period of time after it stops. In SB game mode, the warning detection system will not be changed. The warning system still depends on the aircraft being equipped with the appropriate electronic ballistic bubble. Blah, blah. Basically, SIM is unchanged is what that says. Um, in these game modes, you, simply, uh, you won't simply wait for a text warning. You will need to observe your enemy to detect missile launch. An, attack, an attacking player in their turn will have an opportunity to approach undetected uh, into missile will have the opportunity to approach undetected into missile launch range amidst a battle to inflict a sudden strike on the enemy. The new mechanics will allow us to implement the potential realization of missile combat beyond visual range and also multi-angle missiles in the future. So they basically here just say that these mechanics will allow them to have B BVR systems so radar guided missiles like the Sparrow and whatnot. right now as you can see even in the background the Mirage with its R530E you know that also helps because that missile has a long burn rate so does the fire top they burn for a while so those kinds of missiles it'll definitely help with you being able to see those being launched at you so more snipey centered missiles it'll definitely work for uh, let's see I think I read yeah and then multi-angle missiles so more in all aspect type missiles I mean we kinda have that in a game right now but not like missiles can't really be launched from the front so that's that's about how that goes uh, so they're testing the new mechanics in a game mode here in War Thunder if we jump cut to War Thunder over here uh, let's see so in the events tab you've got missile detection testing so right now apparently according to everybody in the comments and I think I just experienced it too I'm not entirely sure I didn't look at my cell count uh, apparently, um, I hope they changed it by now, because I am a bit late to this, just by maybe like a few minutes or so, uh, that you still have to pay your SL repair cost, even though you gain nothing. You you don't gain anything in the game. Uh, so let's actually, no, they did kind of change it. So I only had a weapon resupply. I didn't actually have to, uh, 
pay my full repair costs, it seems. So that so they did kind of fix it. Yep. All right. Vehicle's free. Yeah, so that's done. Basically, what this system is going to enable, which I really like about it, is instead of people complaining that they never saw a missile and the missile warning text warning didn't work and it just didn't make any sense, basically, you have to, it is your responsibility to know when somebody is going to be behind you and they're going to fire a missile at you. That is your responsibility. It is not Gaijin feeding you information that it's your responsibility so you can't blame this on guides and this is you the system does work pretty well as you'll see in the live gameplay in the text chat some people didn't seem to have read what they said or misunderstood it because they were complaining that there was no text warning and that's exactly what they said they removed the warning oh we lost that funny enough you only get you get three spawns in the game and then and then you're out so I took the phantom out but yeah this is a really good system I actually like it uh, it, again, it, the missile warning only appears when there is a missile that is burning. If the missile runs out of fuel, much similar in real life, you're not going to be able to spot some little little dot flying at you. So you're only going to know a missile's launched at you if you can visually see the trail that is leaving as it is fired at you. So for higher G missiles, obviously, I mean, it's ARRB anyways, there's still name tags. This honestly flows a lot better in ARRB than it did with just the text warning. It kind of matches it with like the icons going on and whatnot. So, yeah, I really enjoy the system. Um, I hope to keep it in in its current state. It might be a little buggy. Uh, the There's like a missile thing. So there's something written in Russian above the diamond. Um, I don't speak Russian, obviously, so I don't know what it says. I assume it might just say missile. I, I, I have no idea. But uh, it is pretty good so far, and people are going to have to get used to it. And... Gaijin shouldn't be fearful of, of change, uh, because if players bitch about something like that, well, I mean, it's for the better, and whether people want to understand it or not, screw them, because this is on you now. This is 100% on you. They have given you the assistance to know when a missile is being fired at you. It is your job to visually turn around and error B, because you can do that freely. It's not like Sim, where you're restrained with a cockpit, you know, you can't, you have blind spots. You can visually look behind you and see that somebody is going to be locking a missile on you. And RWR does not tell you when an air-to-air -air missile is launched because it's infrared. It'll only tell you when somebody slay, like somebody locks you with the radar to slave the missile to you. That's about it. That's all the warning you're getting. So that's all I have to say on the matter. It's your responsibility now. I hope the system gets fully implemented. I would have liked to test it in custom battles, but sadly it is only locked to this event right now, which is which is a shame. Uh, I would have liked to test it with friends personally uh, for more in-depth testing. If they do bring it to the live server, I mean, this is on live server anyways, but if they bring it live and it's available in every game mode, like it's actually applied to the normal ARB game mode, I will make a second video show showing how it works at different angles and whatnot, different scenarios. I will we'll get friends to test me, uh, help me test with that. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. And... Here's one little short game of me playing in the Phantom. You guys will you guys will probably enjoy it. And like I said, keep your eye on the text chat in the clip. You'll you'll see people don't obviously read, which is a big problem. But uh, yeah, here we go. So we still got to pay for repair costs, but we don't earn anything because <laughs> it's an event. Well, they better fix that, because I'm only going to play this once, then. The Hong Kong T-34. The, ch the, the, the Chinese just get it for free, but I had to grind that vehicle out in an event. What? Isn't that great? The, the Greyhound? No, the A. Uh, mm. And the Greyhound, though, technically. Yeah, I'm the Greyhound. <sighs> oh, they changed it in the Russian tree as well. It's now called the Hong Kong T-34 over there as well. Lol, Mig. I, why did I waste a second one? Oh, I didn't even look. I didn't even look for it. Shit. Can we respawn? Hey, 
AH sixty four dash A ten. There is no warning anymore. Yeah, ex ex exactly. So <laughs> the missile locks on and you're just fucked. No, everyone's complaining. Why can't I see a missile? There it goes. There's a little. There's a little dot. There's a missile warning, but like. Everybody's like, why don't I see the missile? It's like, did you even read the fucking dev blog? <laughs> Are you making these good or the bad ones? Or what? What did you say, Wolfram? A9Bs, would they the good ones or what? No, they're the basic ones. Yeah, the Germans get a slightly upgraded version. <sighs> I don't want to spend money on this game, but I... There it goes. Oh, I set myself up for that. Whoa! Aim 9 e side Are they good? Aim 9 E's are slightly better than Aim 9 B's, yeah. So I might just get a Rhodesian Hunter. Woo! Oh, that SU-7 just tanked it to save my life. What no. do you think? Ye yay or nay on Rhodesian Hunter? Don't even bother. What is your highest Britain jet? Just use the Meteor. Just ground pound with the Meteor. <laughs> I just put the Hispanos. I don't know what they did. They used to be fun. Ground pound with it. That's what I just said. Whoa. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I made him take it to the ground. I don't know, steamy boy. I just get shit on by planes that have AIM-9s or something. Oh, he's got I stealth have... belts. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Space thing that was recent. It's a warning icon similar to torpedoes in naval battles. You, you have to spot the the missile. Not. No fuck off, skill. Only costs forty five pounds. I got you a meteor. Use that, dude. But I, I, I do. But well, what about two? Lol. We don't earn anything for this. <laughs> oh, I hit my fucking. Oh no! no! I hit the multi-function menu key, <laughs> and so I couldn't pull out my air brakes. Whatever, uh, I got one. You only get three spawns. Well, that was fun. Okay, Steel. I bought it. Now I have now I have two premium Angry Boy jets in my tank lineup. This is great. RWR is for radar. How do these work? How do they work? How do you lock on? I've never used them before. So? <sighs> when someone locks their radar on you to slave a missile? Or am I... part of... <laughs> Yo, how do you lock on a name mate? It's called Rear Warning Radar. <laughs> it's it. Hence Radar. Warriors around don't get caught in the mosh pit. Put your fuel to the fire, ain't nobody can stop it. Get trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it. Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it. Throw down these hits, my click is indivisible. I aim you duck, I squeeze, now you invisible. 
I'm not afraid of getting physical. All these different chemicals are fogging up my visuals. Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners. Yo, we notorious, we ain't no runners. Bloods on my